Hello everyone, today we're looking at my rainbow trout in Unreal Engine. So, if I just select it, we can spin around it, you can take a good look. And the scene is the animation scene for the, the map, at least, is the map, the animation map for the trout. And you'll see all the different animations for him. Even hanging, if you want to take a picture with the fish hanging, you could do that. We can get out of this and look at the folders at the bottom. We have the animation folder. We'll look at that in a minute. The trout also comes with a basic AI system. And we'll look at that at the end. And it comes with two different maps the animation map we're looking at and the AI map showing off the AI system we have one material for the trout PBR material uh, here's the mesh we can take a look at the mesh like we already have and we can take a quick look at the physics for the trout um, let's take away that zoom out a little bit I can pick him up flop him around even fold in half <laughs> and we have a skeleton of course uh, the textures just three textures a base color a normal map and a roughness if we look at the animations real quickly um, one of the first things I want to show is the uh, blend space. We have a blend space that goes with the AI system that comes with the fish. And then as we look at the animation, we have a bite animation. We have a dead animation. An idle, eating idle animation. Then an eating animation kind of flailing around animation the trout hanging animation and then we have just a normal idle a jumping animation and we have a surface idle where he's near the surface and idling and we have a swimming animation Swim down, swim fast, and swim up animation. All right, now we can take a quick look at the basic AI system. Let's load up the AI map. If I play this map, you'll see I only have three fish in the scene, but they're kind of uh, swimming along a river. You can imagine that there's a river, and it's swimming along. And it'll leap out of the river sometimes, occasionally. And it also has a couple different points that the fish can swim around and then, or swim to. So right now it's swimming along a spline and eventually it'll decide to eat something off the ground or go to the surface of the water let's say somebody's fishing and you have a fishing lure like right there but if it sees me it will sw swim away if I get too close to the fish it'll swim away and go back into its spline swimming there we go there's one at the surface again but that's the basic look of how the fish work And here in the scene, you can see the different points that it can swim around. There's a ground point that you can place on the ground or anywhere near the bottom of uh, the scene or the map. And then we have a surface point, water surface point. Oop, you can't see it. There we go. That you can place anywhere or right where the surface of the water is. And then the uh, fish will go to that point. 
So I'll, I'll show you real quickly a look at the animation blueprints, or the blueprints in general. This is the animation blueprint for the fish. And you could use, it has all the different animations for each thing that it does, or each state that it's in. And then it has all the different transitions set up. So you, if you uh, wanted to code your own fish, you could use this animation blueprint to code your own. And then we have the blueprint, which has all of the logic for the fish. Uh, if you click on the very top option on the left, you'll get you'll see all these options you could change. You could turn sight off, turn death off, turn eating so it never goes to the ground. You could turn the surface off so it never goes to surface, or you could only have it swim, and that's the only thing it does. And you could adjust some of these settings, how much time it spends at the surface, things like that. Um, on the left-hand side, if you click on the AI perception, you can change how far the fish can see things, or other AI or the character. So if we look at this blueprint, the fish will make a bunch of decisions and then it from there it will go into roaming or take off or swimming, uh, landing. Uh, it can go on the ground, the water surface, and then a transition from the surface to a surface idling system. And, uh, like I said, he can roam, it can take damage, it can detect people by sight. Uh, and then it can do, it does a hit check to see if it's hit, and it can revive itself. So that's a quick look at the blueprint for the trout. And then we have another blueprint for it, and this one sets up has all the different parts in it. So if we click on this version and go to viewport, you can see the path that we have for the trout to swim along, and you can adjust this path inside of the blueprint to be uh, however you need it to be for your river or whatever. You could adjust it here and have all of your fish um, uh, have that same path. Or you could drop it in world. That's You can j literally just drag and drop these into the world and just hit play and it'll work. Or you could drop it in and adjust the spline or what or the surface of the water or whatever uh, to match your scene uh, but that's a look at my trout in my trout with AI in Unreal Engine have a good one everyone